So in the previous uh, lecture we saw how to process a CSV file and uh, add up the numbers in the third column. And we saw this uh, example, this uh, solution, which is like 15 or 20 lines of code, which uh, seems to be short for someone who comes from C or probably Java. But uh, this is what I call the long uh, solution, the educational solution, where I explicitly wrote out each line of uh, code. There is another solution that if, um, if I was in a real hurry, I would write that one. So this is the la solution. This is like four lines of code. One of them is the closing of the curly braces. So I wouldn't put it this probably in a, in a real application. Uh, I would use this if my boss stands behind my back and tells me, okay, here are 500 uh, CSV files. Please sum up the, number, the, the third column. So I would write uh, something like this which is much faster to write and does the same thing. Actually, this does a little bit more because this adds up several files at once. But let's see how it works. So you can see there is no use strict use warnings. I disregard them here because I'm just doing this uh, quick and dirty solution. This is the operator that uh, you already saw sort of this something similar. Uh, but then you had either stdin or some file handler between the two signs. Now in this case, this is called the diamond operator. And what it does, it goes over the elements of at argv, the command line. Takes the first element uh, and assumes that it's a, it's a name of a file and tries to open it. If it's successful, then it will read the first line. So that's what it does the first time we encounter uh, this operator. And then the second time, as the while loop goes uh, one after the other, the second time it will read in the second line and the third time the third line and so on till it finishes the older lines in the first file and then goes on, on to the next element of at argv and opens that one and reads in the, li in the first line and so on. So basically this will go over all the lines of all the files in at argv and if one of the elements of at argv is not really a file then the f opening will fail uh, this will print out a warning, and but it will go on to the next file to the next and try to open that one. So this will just read in all the all the lines one by one of each file that's on the command line. Now we don't see where does it put the line though. We usually see assign this read line operator to dollar row or dollar line or something. Here we don't assign to any uh, scalar, and that we don't do that because it it. it it does it automatically. Automatically this assigns to a variable called dollar underscore, which is the default variable in many cases in Perl. So because we don't tell where to assign, it will automatically assign the row to dollar underscore in each iteration. Now we have it in the dollar underscore and we go to look at split. So we can see the split within the parentheses. That split only got one, one parameter, not two. It only got the parameter of how to how to split up, how where to cut the script, the the string. We tell it to uh, to cut it every at every comma, but we don't tell what to cut. Luckily, the default of split is that if it, you don't tell what string to cut, then it will automatically cut the content of dollar underscore. The same thing that was here used to assign the value, the line. So this split will cut the dollar underscore, the content of dollar underscore, return an array. But we don't assign the array. What we do, we put a, parent, a pair of parentheses around the split, which allows us to immediately address it as if it was an array and tell, okay, take the element in the second, in the in column number two, which is the third column, because we are counting from zero. So without even assigning it to a real array, we can already fetch the third column here in second uh, the element number two and so this part is actually every time the third column the number from that uh, csv file from the current uh, row and then we add it to sum now we haven't declared sum we didn't give it zero at the beginning but don't worry because if you don't uh, give a value to a variable then it automatically is undef and if you use undef in a numerical context so in an addition then it will behave as zero 
So the first time you do this, it will assume that this is zero and add it to, to the first number. So that will work out well as well. And that's it. The whole thing is uh, going over all the rows and in the end it will print out the dollar sum. I think it's much uh, faster, much shorter. But of course uh, it involves uh, a couple of things that we haven't learned earlier.